Renee Evans from Bethel Austin here. I just wanted to give you a few uh, encouraging thoughts and I uh, read you some scripture that I have been dwelling on in the last couple of weeks and that the Lord has just put on my heart um, to be my anchor verse in this season. And so I wanted to share that with you in the hopes that it would encourage you to put the Lord before you always. And it's in Psalm 16, it's verse eight. It says this, I have set the Lord before me always. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. I just felt like the Lord said, this is your go-to verse in this season. And I think the key to this and for us to not be shaken in this season is to keep the Lord in front of us and to keep the Lord before us. And I think it's so easy as we're trapped in our homes and we're going a little bit stir crazy to binge watch TV shows or you know, start kind of listening to media that maybe we shouldn't be listening to, scrolling through social media constantly. But I really believe that the Lord is saying to us that if we put him before us, not just in this season, but in life, then we will not be shaken. We will not be moved. And I just love this hope that Jesus gives. I love this hope that is found all throughout the scripture. And I just want to encourage you over the next few weeks, over the next few months, to just continually put God before you. Put him in your thoughts, put him on your tongue, put him in your daily routine. And I don't know about you, but most of you know I'm a mom of three little kids and so there's a lot to do. I'm like, oh my gosh, finally I get to spring clean my house. <laughs> or I get to do, you know, organize things that have just, I've been putting off for too long because I have the time. And yes, that stuff is good. And you know, if that's gonna bring you joy, I encourage you to do that. Um, I am doing that in my home, but I am also uh, consciously practicing putting the Lord before us in this situation. And so for us, what that looks like is speaking to our kids at the dinner table. And you know, we always ask them what the best part of their day was. We always ask them what they're thankful for, but we're kind of like upping the ante a little bit and we're really inviting them into this situation to help pray for a solution and to help pray for the end of this virus to be spread. And we are trying to give them the power, trying to make them realize that the power of the Holy Spirit lives within them and not just grown ups. And so we are trying to do that in our daily parenting through this whole season with our kids is to put the Lord before us. And I think it's great if you want to sit in front of the TV and watch a movie with your kids and just chill out. This is a time for rest. And I feel like the Lord is really um, encouraging us to rest in this season. But I wanted to encourage you also, let's put a stake in the ground and let us not just go through this next season with unintention, but let's put intentionality towards our relationship with the Lord. Let's put intentionality towards how we're allowing God to be free and magnified in our homes and towards our children, towards our loved ones. And let's just constantly put God before us in this season. Like I said, it's every season that we need to do it. But I think we can even, um, in these, it's such a beautiful season because we're learning that we have a greater dependence and a greater need for God. And I think this isn't a season where we can just push through um, and it's not just a season where we should idly just pass the time, but we should be so proactive and so intentional about establishing new habits and continuing, continue old patterns of just putting God before us. And if that looks like getting with the Holy Spirit first thing in the morning before the household wakes up, or if that looks like uh, inviting Holy Spirit to come in breakfast with your family, whatever it looks like, Let's do a great job of always putting God before us. And, and he says that if we do so, that we will not be shaken. We will not be moved. And there may be seasons of chaos and turmoil and a lot of unknowns, but we will have a faith that cannot be moved and cannot be shaken. Amen. So I just wanted to encourage you in that today. And um, there are so many practical, great ways to do that and get fun. Let's experiment. Let's get creative in the way that we do that and uh, walk out these days with the Lord set before us. Amen. I love you all and I hope that you and your family are safe and that you are healthy and we are praying for you and just love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.